Lethal Company is actually defined as a co-op horror. This game, this goofy as hell game is actually a horror game. And in this video, I wanted to explore that. Because this game actually has one of the most amazing implications of horror I have ever seen in a horror game. This game does a lot right, and I think there are multiple layers, especially when it comes to the fear of this game. So let's dive into how Lethal Company expertly uses fear in its gameplay. For starters, we have to divide this video into a few sections, because there are a number of ways that you can play the game. Specifically, you can play this game either as a solo player, or with a group of friends. As this game is defined as a co-op player game, I'll start with the multiplayer side of the equation. Now being in a group automatically creates a challenge for a horror game, as people generally feel safer in a group than they do by themselves, especially when driven by the concept of funny goofy game. However, even in these moments, Lethal Company is able to terrify the player through its gameplay. Now I won't talk about the atmosphere until we talk about the solo side of the gameplay, so stay tuned for that, but I want to direct your attention to the visuals of Lethal Company for a moment. The retro graphics in this game makes everything a little bit hard to see, even while walking in daylight which automatically leaves room to cause tension, as you are never quite sure about what you are looking at. Outside the ship when you first arrive, this isn't very noticeable. However, this becomes very apparent once you step inside the facility. Right off the bat, there's a rise in tension. Entering the facility doesn't feel as safe as outside, because you have no idea where to go. The map inside is completely random every time, so you can never get familiarised with the layout of the facility. You can get familiarised with some of the rooms themselves, but that's about it. Every layout is completely random and as a result, it's very easy to get lost, especially considering just how dark the facility actually is. Well yes, there are a ton of bright sections that allow you to pretty much see everything in front of you no problem, there is also a ton of spaces that are completely pitch black or extremely dark and foggy. The whole building gives off a disturbing hum as well, which acts as a constant distraction for the player. In another popular horror game, which I have covered way more often on this channel, Five Nights at Freddy's, there is a small desk fan in your office which buzzes the whole night and acts as an auditory distraction, causing you to miss certain sounds or make it hard to hear certain sounds you are looking for. This type of auditory ambience is perfect for horror games, especially ones where you have to listen for other important sounds, because it allows stress to build and tension to rise. In Lethal Company, the hum of the facility when you first enter causes this to happen, as when you enter, you're usually always immediately on the lookout for one of the many monsters that this game has, and in the facility, there are quite a number of them. However, before we talk about the monsters, let's talk about the act of being in a group. Obviously entering all at once is calming, as we naturally feel safer in numbers. We may split off, but we still have a general idea of where everyone is. You roam around, you collect some scrap, and then one of your teammates doesn't meet back up, or is monitored as dead. Which way did they go? How did they die? Now there are many, many, many ways to die in Lethal Company, and some of them are completely random, from landmines to falling down pits to turrets. That sucks. But what if something killed them? What did kill them? This game has a lot of mystery as you try to figure out how people die and what lies in the facility. And depending on the monster, the kind of fear you face is completely different. So now I want to analyse how each lethal company entity causes fear to the player, because I find this quite interesting. For starters, let's talk about lethal company's most iconic entity, the Bracken. The Bracken is a very shy enemy, but one that is always hunting you. It follows you wherever you go, and it patiently waits for an opportunity to kill you. They are super smart too, able to hide behind walls and on top of railings to avoid being spotted. However, I think everyone would agree that spotting a Bracken attempting to sneak up on you is one of the worst jump scares in this game. The amount of times that I have nearly had a heart attack from seeing a Bracken is uncountable. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that this is one of the few jump scares that still get me, even after playing this game quite a bit. Every time a Bracken splays its spurs and backs away when the ambience plays, it scares me so much, because normally you are mere seconds from death, and Brackens are so dark and just creepy to look at. 
They hide in the shadows constantly, and you know they are always hunting you, no matter what. I think it's safe to say that they are way more terrifying on solo because once again, their safety in numbers. The Bracken can really only target one player at a time, so in numbers, it's less likely that they will target you specifically. However, being in a group presents a different fear. Looking at a Bracken will scare it away. However, staring at one for too long will result in them becoming aggroed onto you. And this is way more likely to happen in a group because people are constantly looking at them when they get spotted. The panic of having a Bracken chase you is worse than any of the other creatures. Spiders, snare fleas, and even thumpers won't scare you nearly as much as a Bracken will when it chases you. Thumpers are loud and dangerous. However, they definitely lose their impact after a few times of encountering them, and I definitely feel they aren't as scary as some of the other creatures. Let's talk about a few that I think really shine in multiplayer lobbies. For starters, Mimics. These guys are definitely scary in both versions of gameplay, but they certainly shine in co-op because of their unpredictability. Whether one spawned in naturally or your friends were just messing around, these guys will hide and lure people into a false sense of security. In solo, hearing another player is certainly creepy because you're meant to be alone, which is a different kind of fear altogether to that of the multiplayer experience. However, in solo, you will obviously know that it's a mimic. In co-op, you aren't always so sure, and those few seconds of doubt causes a lot of dread. One entity that I'm sure everyone is absolutely afraid of happens to lurk outside of the facility. Eyeless dogs are probably one of the most dangerous enemies in Lethal Company, and that is because of how sensitive they are to sound. Imagine seeing one and sneaking past it, only for your friend to come running around the corner shouting your name as loud as possible. That moment is horrifying. Plus, they can sneak on and camp your ship, and the fear of death and losing all your stuff becomes a reality for all your teammates. However, if I had to pick the enemy in Lethal Company that causes the most fear while in a group, it would have to be this guy. The Jester is easily one of the most terrifying concepts in Lethal Company, and it rivals the Bracken for being the most recognisable. The concept is simple. The Jester will follow a player and after some time, begin winding up. When this happens, everyone inside the facility needs to get out now. Once the Jester pops, it hunts down every single player with terrifying speed. Playing this super loud droning sound and stomping around louder than any other entity in the game. This is definitely one entity that strikes fear into the heart of Lethal Company players. Being left behind and lost in the facility with a gesture about to pop is one of the scariest moments in Lethal Company to say the least. Now over time, all of these things become second nature. However, even still, there is still a ton of tension in Lethal Company. Hearing a giant's footsteps is always creepy and always puts you on edge, as does seeing a dog, or the ghost girl, or any creature in Lethal Company. Most of the enemies are so well known, and yet they are able to strike fear into the player, even if only for a second. That's one of the reasons why I think that Lethal Company has one of the best roster of enemies in any horror game, and in my opinion, nothing shows that more than the coil head. Right from the get-go, the coil head is just fucking freaky to look at. It's not a pretty image, and hearing the spring of a coil head will always send a shiver down your spine, especially if you're lost. On solo, these guys are honestly death sentences, but even in a group, they are unbelievably creepy. Everyone freezes when they hear that spring. They move so fast, which on its own is super scary. One moment you were just peacefully roaming around the facility, and the next a coil head rips your head off. Trying to outmaneuver a coil head is always tense, especially if there is a bracken, because all of a sudden you are extremely vulnerable, which is what makes coil heads so terrifying. Now I could go on and on about how every enemy in this game just adds to the layers of horror, but I want to talk about something special that this game has, which can only be appreciated playing solo. A lot of players know just how brutal Solo Lethal Company is, but something else that a lot of people would agree upon is just how unnerving playing by yourself is. In a group, you can joke around, talk to each other, and laugh at situations you find yourself in, but in Solo, you have none of that. And a lot of what makes this so unnerving has to do with the ambience and sound design. 
For starters, the sound effects used in this game are so well designed. Everything in this game just works with sound. The ship landing is actually quite a unique one, as I'd argue that it's actually kind of tense and a rise in tension. Once you hear the sound of the ship doors open, you know that anything could happen. The game has begun. It's a small rise in tension, but one that I think gets overlooked. Another is the entry and exit of the facility. Exiting is a relief and a release in tension, while entering is a rise in tension. The constant hum of the facility and the steam rushing through the pipes creates that uneasy feeling and presents a lack of information, and it's safe to say that all the enemy sound effects are used expertly. The thumper stumps around and its roar is bone chilling. The coil heads spring, the jester's music, the ghost girl's aura, the giant's stomping feet, the worm's growls, the bracken's hiss, even the goddamn spore lizard scares the crap out of you sometimes. All the sound effects used in this game are used well, and I think one of the best sound effects in this game is the one that plays when your sanity goes down, whenever you see a dead body or encounter an enemy. This noise is so expertly used, and really adds to the dread you feel playing this game. Sometimes, this sound will play and you have no idea what caused it. That is fear inducing. This stinger helps enhance all the scary moments so much more, because even if you can't see the threat, its looming presence hangs over the player and reminds you of just how much danger you are in. And even when you think you are safe, you aren't. Now the ambience and music. This to me is really something else, and somewhere where this game truly shines, and this is a very apparent in solo gameplay. Walking into any facility entrance is actually really peaceful. Well, unless it's stormy or whatever. But the soft music that plays is actually really unsettling as well. It's designed to be peaceful and yet it sounds so off. It doesn't feel quite right. Eclipse moons take this to a whole nother level. The snow moons constantly bombard you with a harsh wind sound, similar to the one inside the facility, but this creates an interesting juxtaposition. Normally entering the facility is a rise in tension, but on moons like Rend and Dine, it's the opposite because the loud howl of the wind prevents you from being able to hear more important sounds, like a mimic's footsteps. If that's not enough, then the ambience of the facility will sure unsettle you. The random horror stingers and banging that you hear is creepy. Something that all of this sound does, especially on solo runs, is make you feel completely isolated. Alone. It's unsettling. And it's kind of similar to the Fallout games, but at the same time, it is completely unique. The isolation you feel in a solo run just makes every single part of this game that is scary 100 times more terrifying. Brackens will target you immediately. Ghost girls will always haunt you. Everything is coming for you specifically, including the company itself. Now let's talk about visuals for a second. For one, the layout and design of the rooms in this facility is in such a way that it's very easy to get lost. Even the planets you are on are just designed to get you lost, and that's a huge fear in itself, and again links back to that theme of isolation. Isolation is the fastest way to develop fear in Lethal Company. You get separated from your team and get lost, you begin to panic. Fear takes over. And the funny thing about Lethal Company is that despite this feeling of isolation, you are never ever alone. Monsters watch your every move, waiting so patiently to get a chance to kill you. There's no one to watch your back. Everything wants to kill you. Enemies like Mimics become more unsettling on solo because no one else is meant to be there. I think one of the most terrifying moments while playing Lethal Company was during a solo run on Rend. I was carrying back some scrap to the ship and just vibing with the wind and listening to the sounds of my footsteps when suddenly, did I just hear another set of footsteps? I stopped. Nothing. Must have been my imagination. And then it happened again. And all of a sudden I heard a sprint on snow and I panicked, dropping everything and bolting to the ship as fast as I can and straight into an eyeless dog. That kind of fear came from Lethal Company, which I think is incredible. Despite this game being seen as the light-hearted funny moments games with friends, at its core, Lethal Company is an absolutely horrifying game, and that can't be more apparent than its base concept, the story. 
I won't go into the law because it's still being discovered, but the actual idea of Lethal Company is actually kind of horrifying. You are supposedly survivors of some world ending tragedy and you owe your lives to the company. They force you to go to dangerous worlds, completely unprotected except for maybe a shovel and collect scrap, which is then supposedly fed to some monster. A monster that won't hesitate to kill you if you annoy it too much. And if you fail to meet the quota, you die. And the thing is, you will fail the quota. It doesn't matter how long or well you play, it doesn't matter how much scrap you collect, you will eventually not be able to reach quota. And when that day comes, you better just accept it. In fact, I think this is one of Lethal Company's strongest attributes, its theme of death. Death is inevitable, and that rings true in Lethal Company. It doesn't matter how much you make, or how many horrors you survive, one day, you'll join those who died on those moons. So you better make yourself an asset to the company. The aura of this game is something that must be appreciated. This is truly one of the most amazing horror games ever made. It so expertly hides the horror behind this generic concept, and I don't think enough people truly realise how horrifying this game truly is. I hope people make creepy passes of this game, because they would be amazing. But anyways, that is the video. Let me know if you think this game is horrifying in the comments below. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe and to click on this next video. Thanks again, and I will see you very soon.